see you later, little man. Mommy and Daddy will be back soon. We love you. Be good. <laughs> To push me. Oh, I mean, my chance to go through a lot. Well, from the nursery and back, really? I'm already holding a gun on you up at the lodge, you having to give birth up there. Hey, I know you're stubborn, but you're just gonna have to let me take care of you for a little while. The sooner you're strong and healthy, the sooner we get to take home my little boy. <laughs> I can't wait. You see how he looks at me, you know? I, I, I think he knows I'm his dad already. That's my room. Hey, John McBain, my MVPD. So many new ones were born while I was on vacation. <laughs> Can I help you, Dr. Saybrook? I'm I'm here for the baby. My friend just gave birth. I promised I'd look in on the baby. It's our first one. You know how nervous new moms are. Only neonatal staff members are allowed in the nursery. But you are a doctor. <laughs> Go ahead. Nurse, I need your help. This woman needs medical attention. Oh, my God. Hey, help me. Hey, how did Dr. Seabrook get away? I don't know. Fox, are you okay? When did you come on your shift? My shift started a few minutes ago. All right, get some help. God, thank God she's alive. Ma'am, oh. do you know where you are? Ugh. Where is Marty? She couldn't have gotten far. Hi, little one. Everything's gonna be okay. I told that nurse a little white lie, but I had to. Because I can't let Natalie steal you from me. Look at you. My beautiful little boy. I'm here now. Okay? Mama's gonna take you home. So Joey can front. Okay, thanks. She hasn't left the hospital and they're blocking all the exits. She wants our son. Stay here, I'm on it. No, he's he's my son too, John. Look after Roxy. 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 Hey, Roxy. What happened? We're gonna get everything we need on the way home, okay? But we need to move quickly, okay? Before Natalie tries to steal you again. You wouldn't let me see our son. You don't trust me with our son. That's not true, right? That's not true. Just, just be careful. I know. It's because it's because I fell down those stairs, right? And and and, and he almost died. You think I'm going to hurt him now? So I sneaked in when the guard was down the hall, and I was so mad at Marty after what she did to you. So I get up right in her grill, and then she headbutts me. Oh. And the next thing I know, I'm waking up here. Oh, God, Roxy, I'm so glad that you're okay. Yeah, me too. You know, you don't look so good. I'm not. I'm, not, I'm really worried about my son. Oh. Okay, what the hell's going on? I was leaving the hospital. Security said they were looking for Marty Saybrook. Uh, stay here with Roxy. No, Johnny wouldn't want you to do I don't, I don't care. Okay, my son needs me, and I have got to get to him. Hey, look. I know you've never hurt a child. 
the doctors. They just want you to rest, that's all. I'm fine. I want to go home. I just want to take our son home. Okay. All right, I'll let me take you home then, okay? You, you mean that? Yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah, we're finally going home. That's right. We're all going home. <laughs> we're all going to go home. Let me... Why don't you just let me handle our son? Give me our son, all right? Oh. No, okay. Listen, you're weak. Right? You're weak. You, you don't want to drop him, do you? No. No, so let me carry him on out, okay? Oh. Just... Oh, 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 my God. What's he doing here? What is this, a trick? You're trying to have her steal my son? Yeah, just stay back, all right? No. No. gonna take the baby, okay? Just, hey, nurse, do you have the key to Wait, this room? No, no. Just please give me the key to this room now. I don't want to say. All right, I do. I'm gonna take you home. All right, please. I will take you home. <laughs> yes, Natalie was just leaving. Isn't that right, Natalie? I have, I have to say something to Marty first. Some of this. Thanks. How do you feel? Oh, I feel like I got hit by a ton of bricks and then I got pushed in front of a semi. Marty's got one thick skull. It's a good thing you do too, or you could have been seriously injured. You really care? What do you mean? Of course I do. Well, you know, I just thought, you know, since you found your real mama. Hey, Echo de Savoy might have given birth to me, but I will always think of you as my mom. Same way Natalie does. I guess that's true. Maybe she knows now that being a mom isn't just being genetical. Definitely. More than you can imagine. I'm sorry. You're sorry. I'm sorry. I couldn't stand losing John to you, so I, uh, I tried to say, I tried to steal him back, and I know, I know now that that was wrong. It was very, very wrong. Okay. And I, I see how much you love each other, and you think you have this life together. should destroy a family that is meant to be together. Can I get something really good if I say yes? 
Roxy. Just don't want to think about anything bad happening to Natty and John's kid. If Marty did anything to that little boy, it's all my fault. It's not. It your is fault. my fault. I shouldn't have been in here, and I got right in her face, and she got mad at me. N Marty was mad at Natalie way before you walked through the door. She's had it in for her ever since Cole got sent away. She finally snapped. Yeah, but Marty's a shrink. We both know that even thinking about losing your kid can make a person pretty desperate. Yeah, I guess Natty's feeling that way right now, huh? Turned out okay with this little guy here, huh? Marty had him, Rex. What? She had him and she was gonna leave with him. Oh my god. Don't talk to her down, but I was really, really scared. I believe it. That's what being a parent is. <laughs> so it's official now. Marty's crazy. You don't have to worry about her spilling that Rody's the kid's dad. Spoke with a psychiatrist. He says Marty will get the best care at St. Anne's. They help Jess. And Brody. Hopefully they'll help Marty. And someday she'll be able to go back to seeing the world as it really was before she snapped. One Life to